Hi everyone, I thought I'd just do a quick video of the car before I put the chassis back in. I'd taken it out just to paint it and clean it up and tidy up underneath first. And before I put it in I just thought I'd just go through what's underneath and what I've tidied up. So there's the tubes here from the air conditioning system. So rather than cut them off and get rid of them I've just put them out of the way in case I might need them later for some reason. Um, I've also changed or held up the coolant pipes and the front radiator. I've just printed a little 3D block up there and bolted it on and then just housed the ends of those tubes on the top of that. So again, I might need a coolant system for some reason at a later date, so there's no point in taking all that out. Um, we've also got the vacuum tube, which I'll need for the brake system, which is up and disconnected up there at the moment. And then you've just got the brakes, the brake pipes, and the um, wheel sensors, which will go back in there. The only cabling there is from the system is this large multi-way, which goes to the controller on the standard chassis, which I might be able to make some use of. And then there's a small connector up there. I can't remember what that's for. And there's really nothing else on that side. Uh, I've taken out the fuel tank, which normally lives up in there. Um, and the fuel filler is around the corner up there. So that's all been removed. So you've got the filler port there. I'll probably put a new liner in there and then have the power connector. And that's about it. It's pretty clean <clears throat> from cables and other bits and pieces so I think it's ready for the chassis to go in. So chassis is over here, just a quick run through of that again before I put that in. <clears throat> so got that painted up. The only addition is I've put a little cover plate on the end of the motor just to stop the stones potentially going into the air flow uh, holes at the back. Uh, just painted the motor up bolted the plate on properly, tidied these connections up. There's the gear selector motor, which I'll be connecting up fairly soon to try that out. And then over the other side, just got the drive shafts, just completely standard. No changes there, and that's all ready to go in. So I'll be wheeling that into the car very soon. Okay, there we are. So, just lower that down the jack. That's it. It's on the chassis now. Uh, and there's plenty of space for all the tubes that got up out of the way there. And there's quite a lot of space in between the chassis and the underside of the boot. So, that's where the controller and batteries will sit. Um, I just need to make a box aluminium container for them all uh, and then sort out the plugs but there aren't really many other connections apart from the three connections to the motor and the encoder on the back of the motor that need to go up so there we have it it's rolling chassis again and I can start to build it all in properly now the 
hottest day of the year so far in the UK so perfect day to get something done on this um, so I've just put the chassis back in and I thought I'd just start laying out some of the main parts just to decide where they're going to go um, so I can build the box so I've just made some very temporary brackets just to hang this in place to get some idea of space so I think the controller goes on that side that gives me nice short leads to the motor um, I might direct couple the solenoid um, to the controller um, and I think that you, I need the big start switch so all the batteries will go in all this space around here um, and I'll, I can build them right forward under that bulkhead um, and then I think I might put the power switch big power switch on this part just here it's a perfect shape and it will give me access to it from inside as well which will be good in case anything goes wrong although I will put another power switch on the main battery box once I build it in the back there and, and then I can have this plate back over the top um, once it's all done as long as there's enough clearance from these bolts and things or I could put a clear plastic over the top maybe so I can see what's going on so that's the main components really laid out so I think the most important thing now is to sort out the batteries uh, and the shape of the battery box and then I can start wiring up properly and then the other things to sort out are really just two control elements uh, the foot pedal which I've already done a video about which I just need to replace the standard foot pedal controller up under there with the one I've made and the other thing is to make more use of this gear stick so I should be able to gear I should be able to use the switch on the side which is normally an automatic switch over um, as some kind of on and off uh, I've got the neutral position uh, and I can really make use of this for forward and reverse um, it's it's quite a good joystick for for doing all that kind of thing with and really I don't think there are any other internal mods I'm going to need as a minimum I'll just need to try and make the best use of the gauges and I might try and fool some of the standard control system to give me some of that control without having to put more gauges in and then longer term I can build a touch screen in there uh, and have a bit more control over the uh, whole system and then of course finally I'm going to need the power inlet uh, and a battery charger which I don't know the size of the battery charger yet but hopefully that's going to be able to sit in that space just above the motor just near the power in there I think the most important thing is to keep all the leads as short as possible um, and that helps clarify where things go as well okay I think that's probably it for a while now um, okay thanks for watching So this is the motor controller that I've been building. Um, I built it quite a while ago and I tested it and there's a YouTube video about this already. But uh, this time I've just put it into a, a box and just created a couple of connectors for it. So you've got the con uh, connector to the motor. I've just used a standard D sub socket but I've just commoned up some of the uh, three of the pins to give me the power. And then I'll have a, a bit of an I.O. connector there which will go to the gear change system. So um, I'm just kind of redoing this ready to go into the car. So with that case on it's fine. And I've just printed a part. Uh, so this is just a cover to go over the top which is just finished. So hopefully, let's just literally pull that off of there. Uh, it needs some of these pockets cleaning out. but. Hopefully that is going to go over the top of there. Um, and just give me that outlet I need. Uh, space for a couple of LEDs on top just to show that it's on. Um, and that should finish that. Just yeah, that seems to fit okay. Just uh, cleaned up the corners. 
and that fits on there. It's fairly neat. Great, that's one more thing done.